Hola, Sazoneros. We are here at our very first glacier sighting. I am so excited to see this because ever since I was little learning about the glaciers in school, I always imagined that they would be majestic, but I didn't think they would look like this. I just imagined like a giant ice sheet that it would be smooth on top, flat. But these things are spiky. They are blue. They are craggly and sharp, and it just looks, it, there's movement to it. Big pieces are falling off with these huge cracks. And so we are right now in El Calafate, Argentina. So we're in the south of Argentina, not as south as you can go, but this is the second to last city, big city, before you hit Tierra del Fuego. And so we are at the Lago Argentino, which is an, inward, an inland sea. So it's like an ocean or a sea inside of South America, which I didn't even know existed. And connecting this huge network of lakes are these big glaciers. And so this glacier is called the Perito Moreno Glacier. It's the largest in South America, and it's the last um, glacier in equilibrium in the world, meaning that it recede, it goes forward and recedes at around the same amount every year, and it hasn't shrunk down due to climate change. So it is like seeing nature intact. It's amazing. It's so huge. It's so crazy looking. It's so blue. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. We're up pretty high up. If you get a chance to come to Argentina, you go to Buenos Aires, Take the flight to El Calafate and then another hour and a half bus ride from El Calafate down to the glaciers. It's a journey. It was a journey, but it's, this is so worth it. Get yourself a nice hot chocolate, dress warm, and you can see something that looks like you're in the North or the South Pole. I never thought that I would see something like this in my entire life. And then behind that are these mountains that are green on the bottom. There's forests on the bottom and then just these ice peaks on the top. It looks like the Himalayas. It looks like the Alps. It's just, it's, this looks, this is actually one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites as well. And it feels like it. I feel like I'm in National Geographic right now. I'm seeing something that is just a wonder of the world. And this is something to do at least once in your life. If you get a chance, come out here, come to Patagonia, come see this because I'm, it's breathtaking. I'm in awe of nature right now. I'm so excited. Like this is all my Discovery Channel, National Geographic, little kid dreams coming true right now. I just want to touch it. I know it's really cool, but I just want to I want to see what it feels like. And we're about to get on a boat and get close to it. So I am super excited for that. Um, a little feeling, a little Titanic um, scaredness in the back of my mind. I hope we don't hit an iceberg because there's tons of little icebergs everywhere. But these people are the experts. They know what they're doing. And we're going to get close to see the ice. I'm so excited. OK, guys, we are out on the boat, on the water through the glacial lake with the glaciers behind us. It is crazy, it's breathtaking. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And we're getting ready for the eclipse. It's about to start. We've got our eclipse glasses. Can't see anything through them, but if you look at the sun, you can see the sun, it looks like a little orange ball. And so you can just see the moon is starting to come, just like slightly blocking on the bottom left side. It looks really cool so far. We're excited to see it. it's a little bit cloudy today, but you can still see the sun because it's so bright coming through. And we are out here in the middle of the lake and it looks fantastic. It's freezing, super cold. It's very, not choppy, but very wavy out here. And uh, the water is like a color we've never seen before. It's really turquoise, it's very like green blue. The colors are amazing. There's waterfalls behind me. There's like igneous rock with the layers and I feel like I'm in a geology textbook right now. I love it. The baby, she snuggled up tight in here and we are out here doing our Antarctica thing. Super excited. Bye guys.